I've spent a few weeks with the Forerunner 955 now, so I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions. It would be a real long video if I went through all of its features. I'll focus on how I've been using it and what it's like as a fitness wearable and to live with. I like the design. It's functional, slightly industrial, but I think it looks smart. It's something I'd wear with anything, anywhere. It's very comfortable to wear. Hardly notice I've got it on. Although slightly thicker than the 945, I haven't had any problems banging or catching it on things. The silicon strap is comfortable and hasn't caused me any problems. Don't notice I've got it on at night when getting to sleep. That's where I'll start with sleep. I found the sleep tracking to be very accurate. I often wake up during the night and the 955 always picks that up. It accurately logs my sleep and wake time. I can also set a bedtime, wake time, and set a custom watch face for sleep. And the backlight is inactive. When I do wake up in the morning, the 955 has a morning report for me. This is customizable through the Connect app, and morning report can consist of the weather, sleep, body battery, training readiness, and so on. You have to wear the watch for three days before training readiness is available, but it's a feature I really like. It's a measurement of factors such as sleep, recovery time, training load, stress, and HRV status to determine how prepared you are to benefit from training on that day, and it updates during the day. Once I'm up, and if the 955 isn't advising a rest day, or my training readiness is poor, it's time to train. And there are lots of activities to choose from. And to start an activity, press this button, scroll through them using the up and down buttons, or the touch screen. Select your activity again by pushing this button, or touching the screen, press again, and you're good to go. The screens and information displayed during an activity are customizable, as is the ability to turn off the touch screen. A great feature. You can also turn the touch screen off altogether. If I'm gonna do an outdoor run, I select run, wait for the GPS, and once I have a lock, run. I can have the Garmin take me around a route which I've created and sent to it. I've done another video on that, link in the description. GPS I've found to be very accurate. The 955 has multi-frequency GPS turned on by default, but this can be changed within the activity settings. Here you can see I've been zigzagging on this road and the 955 tracks it no problem. This is an open area though with no buildings large buildings may impact the GPS accuracy. We also have running power now built in. No need for a chest strap or any accessories. The 955 will, of course, connect to my speed and cadence sensors if I'm going out to ride my bike. It will also connect with a whole bunch of other accessories. The buttons, we have this one. To go into the activities page, we can use the buttons or the touch screen to scroll through our activities. This is the back and lap button. We can also use the up and down buttons to get into our glances. And then here we press and hold, we get into functions. We press and hold this button, it will take us into the watch settings. If we're already in an activity, Pressing and holding the up button will take us into that specific activities settings. I use my 955 for strength workouts in the gym. And the 955 doesn't always get the exercises and reps correct. However, the touch screen is good for inputting the reps and weights. And I can still edit the exercises in the app once I've completed my workout. High intensity interval training is something else I do. And we have workouts in the app that can be sent to the device we can create our own and we have timers to use, AMRAP, Tabata. Of course, it's waterproof. It can be used as a triathlon watch. We also have some new metrics such as stamina and HRV, heart rate variability. Stamina shows us our real time stamina versus potential stamina. And we can have this as a watch face during an activity and view the results at the end within the app. I don't wanna to get too much into HRV. But basically, heart rate variability is the variation in the time interval between consecutive heartbeats in milliseconds. So if your heart rate is 60 beats a minute, it's not necessarily beating once every second. There will be variations in the time between beats. 
and that's what's being measured. HIV is a useful insight into our health and our training recovery and readiness. Health snapshot. This is another new feature that I like. It is, as it says, a health snapshot. It takes two minutes and will give you your heart rate, HIV, pulse OX, respiration rate, and stress level. And there's a little list of other metrics the Garmin can read. Pulse OX, stress, respiration. Heart rate accuracy. Now, I've nothing to scrutinize it against. I can't go and have an ECG while I sit with the Garmin on. But based on other devices I've used, it seems accurate. Garmin have a reputation for making pretty accurate heart rate monitors in the wearables. But for a more accurate reading, there's always a chest strap. Navigation is something I've always liked on the Garmin. A little sat nav on my wrist. And in the past, I've saved locations and the Garmin has got me back to them. Now, the navigations of the watch could make up a video of its own. Can have notifications come to the watch, although there is no way to interact or reply, at least not on iOS. You can set the watch to disable notifications while doing activities or disable them altogether, like I've done. Battery life. I've been happy with the battery life and I've been charging on average once a week but this would vary depending on how much you use the GPS. The 955 is something you could take away for a couple of days, do a marathon and not need to take the charging lead. This watch is packed with features and like I said I can't get into all of them. I'm never going to do most of the activities available on the 955 but I've no doubt it will track them and provide accurate data the same as it does with the activities that I have done. One of the things I'm really liking with the 955 and this is going to have something to do with the Connect app of course is how you have a lot more customization options from within the Connect app even customizing the data screens. The 955 is a great piece of kit and I'm really happy with it. Do I feel it's a big enough upgrade from my 945? Absolutely. If someone asked me my opinion on a fitness wearable to buy I'd say go for a Garmin. If you have any specific questions in relation to this watch, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.